Hi guys, welcome back. So we have another kit review. And this little baby is super special. I was, I'm very excited about this little girl. As you guys saw from the thumbnail, it is Baby Birdie by Laura Lee Eagles. And I got number 658 out of 1,000. And this baby is amazing. Let's start off with her belly plate. Look at this cute little tummy. And I love, look at the side, the side view. Notice the vinyl goes down more. Normally it would be maybe cut off like right here. But it goes down more on the sides, which makes for nice pictures if you like showing their little tummies. The details on this belly plate are beautiful. Laura Lee Eagles did not skimp on details, let me tell you. Okay, and well, I should have showed you this. This is her little body. And this surprised me because I thought this baby was going to be much smaller. And I'm, I'm gonna look it up. I'll put it somewhere at the bottom of the screen, um, her exact length, but she is, to me, newborn. Cause by looking at her body, you could already tell that she's not teeny tiny. This is not really a preemie baby's body. And I love this body. I love the cinching, the way they did it, cause sometimes it can look a little sloppy. So the body looks really, really nice. And one thing that I had no, I totally forgot and I had no idea that it would come with is the umbilical cord. <laughs> so you would put a magnet inside and then it would connect. You put a magnet on the back and it would, and it'll stick. So I've never painted one of these before. So I'm excited about that. And this little thing is amazing. It even has the little lines, like where the little plastic thing at the hospital in real babies, when they pinch this little piece of skin here and it leaves the little marks. She even carved out those little lines. Pretty amazing. So that was the belly plate. And now let's check out her little hands. She is a skinny little bird. <laughs> she's so skinny and little, but she's so adorable. Now, let me say that this baby blew me away. The sculpting done on this little bird is amazing. The bottom of her hands are beautiful. She's also not that smooth vinyl. She has all the little dips and bumps that I like. Now, I don't know if I'm, you'll be able to tell, but if you look at the shadow right here, you could even see like the muscle, where muscle's supposed to be. The dip here and then the raised piece right here and then it dips more here. Look at the inside of her arm. It's amazing. Laura Lee did an amazing, amazing job. And then she has a partially closed hand. And I love that the little thumb peeks out through here. I find that little detail very sweet. And of course, Laura Lee is famous for her beautiful nail beds. Even though she's little, she still has nail beds. And nice little details and creases. But the attention paid to um, the details on this baby are unbelievable. So then she has a straight leg. I love this long leg. And a slightly bent leg. Now, when I first saw her, look at the dip on the right here it's beautiful 
Now, this is the leg that I was like, oh my gosh. And I hope you guys will be able to see. These little dips here, look at the little ankle bone. There's a dip on the bottom here. If you turn it slightly, you even see it with no paint, you can almost see a shadow. Look at the back of this leg. I love this. And if you touch it, you feel it. Almost like it's real nerves and muscles. Like there's really real things in there. You know what I mean? The little dips here. Hello, knee. Look at the ankle bone on the inside part. She is beautiful. Oh my goodness. And from far away, just from far away, look at the detail right here. It's amazing. And then the little partially bent leg. You can see this piece here. I got a tattoo on my ankle. I have an ankle bracelet. And when they went to this nerve right here, oh my God, did I see Jesus. It hurt so bad. So that nerve here, these tendons, look at the little dip in the back of her foot. It's amazing. It's like looking at a real baby's foot. So beautiful. And then, that little face, the little bird. And what I found funny is, look at her little beak. No wonder she named her Birdie. Now, if you turn her sideways, look, it sticks out. Her upper lip sticks out just like a little baby bird. My favorite thing about this baby is her ears. Her ears and her legs, but the pointy ears. You guys know I love elfie ears. How beautifully sculpted are these pointy ears. The details on her back, she has this little dip there, a whole bunch of dips everywhere. Some creases. She has shape to her cranial structure is amazing on this baby. Look at the big bone here running across the top of her head. She has the dips. And even though she has the side dips, if you notice right here, this is raised. It almost feels like a real bone is raised right here on her skull. And then goes these dips, which are not even either. It's amazing. Her little eye sockets are really nice and deep and protrude out like the little tops of her eyelids look swollen, just like a newborn baby would. Her little nose is nice and deep. Of course, I love those that little beak. She has a really round chin, nice creases, very realistic. She has, of course, the Magnus base dips, a slight like little bump, but nothing too bad. She Look at how dainty her little eyebrows. Well, depending on how you paint them, but yeah, her um, vinyl is really nice and pale. You can get away with not neutral, having to neutralize this baby. But this baby is gorgeous. She is amazing. If I can give her more than five stars, I would. That's how in love I am with her details. And notice how, you know how I mentioned how I don't like the back of the legs to be like connected? Although she does have it a little bit, but it doesn't show that much. Normally this piece of vinyl right here, some babies have it cut off like right here. So they have vinyl up to right here. And that tiny bit in makes a huge difference as far as realism goes. But I love when they sculpt it all the way to the back. So yeah, you guys, that is Little birdie, what do you think of this little girl? Wow, she is amazing. Amazing, I tell you. I don't, there is a nothing I do not like about this baby. I cannot wait to start on her. She might be my next baby. I have a 
twin B that I, it's my little, I'm going to, every summer I do, I paint the baby for myself. Um, and this, and I have the twins, twin A and twin B. I used to own them before, but um, they went to live with a new mommy. I wanted it to do a uh, portrait babies after my twins, boy, girl. And so I, because Katie and Lucas are very different, not only are they boy girl twins but they're in skin tone and all that i can paint these twins by themselves so i am i did take a twin be a bath it's that one's gonna be for me so i have that little project going for myself for my personal collection but i might put twin b to the side and give her a bath because my goodness i am so excited to see how she turns out and this baby could easily be a boy or a girl i think easily beautiful beautiful detail this little girl is amazing Thumb, two thumbs up to laura lee on this little girl and with that that is it for today's video you guys thank you very much for watching and as always the babies and i will see you in our next video bye guys